this is Lisa from Mobile Talk Review, and as promised, here's our companion gameplay demo video for the Origin Eon 15X. This is a gaming PC 15.6 inch with something different inside. This has a desktop CPU inside, quad core, so you got more power for the computational stuff. It doesn't make as much of a difference in gaming, honestly, as the graphics, but what we have in here is the NVIDIA GTX 980M with 8 gigabytes of DDR5 VRAM, not the usual four. So plenty of horsepower here to run games. We also have 16 gigs of fast RAM in here, a M2 SSD, PCIe interface. Lots of good stuff going on, and we're going to test it out now with several popular games, including by demand. You folks asked for it, so you're getting The Witcher 3. We're going to have Far Cry 4. We're going to have Dragon Age Inquisition, and we're going to see how it does now. All right, first we're going to test out my beloved Far Cry 4 here running at 1080p resolution. That is what the display resolution is on this particular model that we have. They do make a 4K display with G-Sync, but not available right now. I see a little bit of tearing there because we don't have G-Sync in that particular moment. Anyway, settings. Let's take a look at our settings. Everything is on Ultra. More Ultra. You get the idea. So it's a pretty challenging game. Certainly for the computer, not to mention for the player. I mean, my God, just when you think you've dealt with a bunch of bad guys, you discover there are poisonous snakes. There are eagles in the sky that are going to come after you. And by the way, I heard some of you are using RPGs on those eagles. Really? Talk about overkill, but I can't blame you. So the frame rates here are quite good. And we're not actually going to do our mission right now so we can see what it's like to run around. And how about jumping in the car, too? We'll just ignore whoever wants to shoot us. And the rare classical radio station is playing. Look at those frame rates on Ultra. Very nice. Now how about the fans? You can definitely hear them. This is a 15-inch gaming laptop with a desktop CPU. And we have the NVIDIA GTX 980M. None of those are going to be cool. But the good news is, is that the keyboard is not burning hot. It's a little bit above human body temperature, which means you'll perceive it as being warm. It's not burning hot. It's about 100 degrees, us being 98.6 on average. How about the CPU and GPU temperatures? We're going to switch out of this for a minute so we can check the temperatures using hardware info. Okay, we still have the game running in the background, and you can see what our CPU temperatures are here, 73 centigrade, 70, 67, and so on. That is actually relatively cool when playing a game, and that's perfectly acceptable. So how about the graphics card? Let's scroll down to our NVIDIA GTX 980M and see how it's doing. GPU temperature, my god, it's like shockingly chilly, 59 degrees centigrade right now. So, as gaming laptops go, this actually has one of the coolest running 980Ms I've yet to see on a gaming laptop. Not bad at all. All right, let's move on to Crisis 3 next because, well, as ever, that's one pig of a game. All right, here we are in Crisis 3, still one of those games that can bring a computer to its knees. And here's the settings we're using. We're going low for anti-aliasing, very high, obviously, for just about everything else. And for our advanced graphics, everything is on very high 16x for anisotropic filtering. Let's see how it plays. By the way, I noticed the speaker sound pretty nice. And the fans are ramping up now. Lots of stuff going on here. Obviously, we got plenty of rain, fireworks, and so on. Shit. The frame, rate, frame rates are just fine given the difficulty settings that we're using here. But they're also not that different from other high end gaming laptops with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980M. And that's because first person shooter games really care a lot more about your graphics card. 
Oh, I love the crossbow. So that's Crisis 3 running on the Origin PC Eon X. And now we're in Dragon Age Inquisition DAI. It's an RPG game, yes, but it also is one of the incredibly lush environments and often a lot going around. So it's a very demanding game, and it can really bring some gaming laptops, well, you know, humble them at least. I want to say bring them to their knees. We're going with pretty high settings here. We'll see how this goes. Ultra and high. A lot of ultra, mostly. And let's get into the game and see how it goes. Alrighty, we're about to go into a boss fight here, so this should be pretty demanding in terms of what it has to render. Well, it's certainly holding up with the frame rates, considering that it's pretty darn busy here. Oh, poor bro getting knocked on the floor here. Dropping down at worst to the upper 40s, around 50, and this is on pretty high settings for a very demanding game. So, that's Dragon Age Inquisition in a boss fight pretty far on in the game, and it's looking good. All right, now we're in The Witcher 3, one of the latest, greatest, cool games. And we have our settings pretty high. Let's take a look at this. We got Herlock works on for a girl. Mix of high and ultra settings more towards the high. And these are the settings recommended by NVIDIA's GeForce Experience, which usually are a pretty good idea to go with. So let's see how oh poor old grumpy girl does on the Origin PC Eon 15X. So here we go with a very challenging mix of settings right here. The frame rate is awesome at, well, 60 frames per second. Upper left corner again, Fraps is running to show you the frame rate there. We don't do actual screen capture for those of you who sometimes ask, because that can actually degrade performance even more. And this way we can do things like actually, well, you know, show you the PC, prove we're actually using this PC and stuff like that if need be. All right, now we're in a boss fight with, well, ugly baby grown up. We won't talk about that part, though, will we? Frame rate is still remarkably good. And The Witcher 3, as you all know, is a tough game on PCs. We have the desktop Core i7. That's a quad core. 4790K overclockable CPU at 4 gigahertz. That's the normal clock rate, turbo boost to 4.4 gigahertz. No, we are not overclocking it. I honestly don't see the need to do that. I'm going at 4 gigahertz already. It's more than adequate for anything we want to throw at it. But Origin PC does actually offer, if you, when you buy and order it, you can do things like have them color calibrate it, you can have them overclock it, that sort of thing. Likewise, with the NVIDIA GTX 980M, we're not overclocking that either. It really just isn't necessary. So the temperatures we quote are all running it at, well, stock temp temperatures and clocks. While we are doing this, we are running it with the laptop sitting on a passive laptop cooler. That means, well, you know, one of those plastic lap desks that has uh, ventilation gr grills. Not active ventilation, there's no fans running here, but just a little something to keep it off your lap so you don't burn yourself and to make sure all those vents on the bottom get the air that they need. The GPU has never gone beyond 64 Celsius, which is very, very good. And we showed you the CPU temperatures they're holding through all this gaming, really no, not going above 75. The fans are indeed audible, not screaming, but plenty audible. It's a 15.6 inch laptop with a lot of power inside. It's not going to be quiet and cool at the same time. And I'd rather have cool than quiet. For those of you who really want something quiet, there are 17-inch machines. I've yet to run into a 15-inch, even a, you know, a beefy one like this that is anything other than audible when you're playing games. 